An extract from a short history of nearly everything by Bill Bryson. No matter how hard you try, you will never be able to grasp just how tiny, how spatially unassuming is a proton. It is just way too small. A proton is an infinitesimal part of an atom, which is itself, of course, an insubstantial thing. Protons are so small that a little dib of ink, like the dot of a full stop, can hold something in the region of 500 billion of them, or rather more than the number of seconds it takes to make half a million years. So, protons are exceedingly microscopic, to say the very least. Now imagine, if you can, and of course you can't, shrinking one of those protons down to a billionth of its normal size into a space so small that it would make a proton look enormous. Now pack into that tiny, tiny space about an ounce of matter. Excellent. You are ready to start a universe. I'm assuming, of course, that you wish to build an inflationary universe. If you'd prefer instead to build a more old-fashioned, standard Big Bang universe, you'll need additional materials. In fact, you will need to gather up everything there is, every last moat and particle of matter between here and the edge of creation, and squeeze it into a spot so infinitesimally compact that it has no dimensions at all. It is known as a singularity. In either case, get ready for a really big bang. Naturally, you will wish to retire to a safe place to observe the spectacle, Unfortunately, there is nowhere to retire to, because outside the singularity there is no where. When the universe begins to expand, it won't be spreading out to fill a larger emptiness. The only space that exists is the space it creates as it goes. It is natural, but wrong, to visualise the singularity as a kind of pregnant dot hanging in a dark, boundless void. But there is no space, no darkness. The singularity has no around around it. There is no space for it to occupy, no place for it to be. We can't even ask how long it has been there, whether it has just lately popped into being like a good idea, or whether it has been there forever, quietly awaiting the right moment. Time doesn't exist. There is no past for it to emerge from. And so, from nothing, our universe begins.